Hey everyone, welcome to another vlog from Colombia. Me and Mark are headed off to Guatapé. It's a city about 80 kilometers to the east of Medellin. Uh, there's a really beautiful town, a lot of sights to see. We're on a bus right now, we should be arriving in about 30 minutes. Guys, we just got off the bus. First stop is La Pedra del Peño. This is really, really huge rock that we're gonna climb up to the top. This is gonna be rough. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's about 650 steps that we're gonna have to climb once we're at the base of the rock. But the views are already spectacular. Look behind you. I believe the entry fee is about 10,000 uh, Colombian pesos, which isn't a lot, but you get to go to, to the top. There's an observatory and they also serve beer and I believe some food too. Gracias. This rock is a uh, byproduct of a volcanic explosion about 60 million years ago, which is really insane. But what's crazy is that we can only see one third of it because the other two thirds is underground. So Mark, you feeling all right, bro? Yeah. There's a partial view from the top. There's an observation deck. We're gonna be going to the city of Guatapé, which is right over there later on. 75 more stairs. Nice stretch right here. Made it to the top. Doing all right. <sighs> Wonderful. Hey, I'm so glad we did this. Not a lot of people know about this place. It is a popular tourist destination here in the uh, Medellin area of Colombia. Guys, these views are pretty epic. <laughs> Guys, so all this water we see here is an artificial lake. Uh, in the 70s, the government created a artificial dam. So all of this is the remains of a flooded village. This is one of those times in my life where I'm just, my breath is just gone. Some micheladas. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Guys, this is easily one of the best places I've been all year round. Just, this is, this is so amazing. I can't put a word on it. Just looking out at this view over here, onto this lake. There's boat tours that are available on this lake. Um, jet skis, people go swimming. We didn't bring any swimming gear and we're actually not dressed for the part. We're wearing jeans. I thought it was gonna be kind of cold. down to the entryway of the uh, uh, rock here. What's cool is that they have a special staircase, a second staircase, um, if you're heading back down.
Oh guys, pretty cool. While I was flying uh, the drone, there was a, a nun that came up to me and she said that they're doing a film shoot um, here for a local evangelical channel. Um, they're Roman Catholic and they have a whole crew set up here. They have actors and stuff and they saw me flying the drone so they wanted me to get involved and you know, I'm gonna help them out because this is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, like, th this, is, this is why we do this. This is why we travel. I mean, getting to kind of connect with the locals, like meet people and experience, experience things yeah. that you, you haven't really ever done before. Guys, this is, what's your name? Hey, Teresa. Teresa, nice. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Yeah, Hi. this is our whole uh, Hi. sister, yeah, sister. Consola. Iris Consolata. and sister Rocio. Rocio. And this is the actor? The actor. <laughs> nice to meet thanks you. a lot for uh, yeah. waiting for the drone to finish. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Dios te Hola, mucho gusto. <laughs> I'm learning Spanish, guys. <laughs> Ciao. All right, guys, we're going to go on this little rickshaw. This guy's going to take us into town. Never been on one of these little things before? I think it'd be kind of cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Never been on one. No, that's a cool experience. I know, those are pretty popular in India. Hey guys, we just got off the rickshaw and made it into the town of Guatape. Uh, it's a really quaint town. Population is only like 5,000 from what I understand. Um, this is the resort town um, for a lot of people from Medellin. This is actually a cool little town. Um, from what I understand, there's also a lot of the villages in the area. This is their meeting point. I guess they have a, a market here. Like, it got, a lot of it reminds me of New Orleans, but that's mainly because, if you didn't know, most of, most of the architecture in New Orleans is Spanish. As you guys see, a lot of these buildings are decorated with um, multiple colors and tiles. A lot of these uh, buildings are either shops or homes and the tiles either represent the individual beliefs of the family that lives there or they represent what that uh, building itself um, offers. So guys, we ducked into this cool little cafe in Guatape. We got a couple beers. Gracias. Puedo fumar aquí? Sí. Gracias, señor. So guys, we ordered uh, bandeja paisa. This is a traditional meal from Medellin. There's uh, guacamole, there's some bacon, pig skin. It's a uh, big meal here. They made it so uh, big so that the farmers working in the fields um, didn't have to stop for breaks and, well, we wanted to try some local uh, food from this area. So how's your meal, dude? Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, this is yeah. this is pretty good, and it's really cheap. Like, what is it? Uh, Sixteen thousand pesos. So what's that? Like five, six bucks, maybe. But 
cool little square here in the middle of the town. It's just so beautiful here and so colorful. I just want to walk down these streets and explore for hours and hours. We only have a couple hours left. Even though there are quite a lot of tourists coming into Guatapé, um, it's very authentic uh, and people just live on those streets that we're just walking down, riding their bikes. It's very uh, peaceful, very serene. And I'm really glad that we actually did not take the tour from Medellin into the city. We just uh, took our own way because the tour would have only left us with about 30 or 40 minutes worth to explore. They do a little boat tour, but honestly this is... This is so much better than going on a boat tour, right, man? Yeah, I mean, we've had hours here now. We've been here since 11 a.m. and it's now quarter after five. You don't get this with the tours. That's why you do your research and you go out and you actually explore a place. And you will have such, you have a much more amazing experience than with any tour that you'd go on. By the way, look how tan Mark is. Yeah. Holy. I got burned like crazy. Holy. had just probably one of the best drone flights I've ever had. Alright guys, we've just been hanging out here in Guatapé for the past couple of hours. It's already 6.30 and it's super dark out in South America, uh, but we're about to head back to the bus, take us back to Medellin, another two hour ride. Hope you all enjoyed this vlog, it was uh, very fun for me and Mark. Um, this is definitely one of those places you have to come back to visit for a few days because there's just so many activities and so many sites to see. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video today, please be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here for more adventures from Colombia and uh, next week in Peru. And I will see you guys next time. You got